We have a new guest. We do. Hi there. How are you? I'm very good. What's your name? My name is Seth Resnick. Seth. Oh. <laughs> Seth. Okay. Well, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Nice to be have here. Have you been busy? No, nah, not at all. Uh, I flew in last night. <laughs> been going solid. Just got a call from Delta that the airports in Palm Beach are shutting down because of the storm. Oh, yeah. So I do two more lectures and I'm going to go back to the airport to get out to of get here. get out of here. Yeah, they, they've got you <laughs> speaking at what time today? Uh, twice. Once at 1.30, I think, and then again at... Um, 3.30 to 4.15 and then 6 then o'clock out. back to the airport. Wow. What, are, what are you going to be talking about? Uh, the first one is on creativity. It's um, called Seeing Color. Speaking it's of color, I, I, are those your real eyes? I mean, is that the color of no, your I, eyes? No, I have totally fake eyes. Robotic no, but you know eyes. what I'm saying. They're, they're I, the I have, bluest I have things blue, I, I have blue eyes. I have Very blue, blue eyes. eyes. I've never <laughs> seen blue eyes like that. I'm sorry. I look at eyes. I'm just very nice. <laughs> You're a photographer. You need, you yeah, he is. He looks at these things. And he photographs people, too. So um, it's, it's, it, the heart of it is on creativity, on um, my, what I describe myself as I say, um, my passion is color, my muse is ice. And I've been doing a big project on, uh, on ice, Antarctica five times, uh, Greenland, just got back from Greenland and Iceland. Um, and it, the, it correlates to licensing stock and licensing your images, but the bigger picture is that um, photographically, there are reasons why pictures work and reasons why pictures don't work. A lot of people don't understand, you know, they understand the basic like rule of thirds and whatnot. Yep. There's lots of other like little rules that are really make the difference between having an image that truly works and an image that's just sort of is okay. there. <laughs> I could use another word, but I won't. Yeah, well, it yeah. sucks. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it sucks. <laughs> in, in, in terms of um, stock. I mean, we know that's changed over the past tw almost 20 years now. You still think it's, it's still See, everyone, a major part? You know, it's, it's very easy for everyone to blame everything. You know, it's the same like you know, the economy, the whole world's falling apart. Well, that's a given. The, wor the world is changing, not it's necessarily changing. falling apart. Stock, to me, isn't falling apart. It's different than it was 20 years ago. And you can still um, be very successful at you it. You can still be very successful. I, I don't go out and set up expensive shoots and do stock where you're gambling, you know, I'm, I'm going to invest $20,000 on a picture, maybe it's going to license, but I carry a camera wherever I go and sure. I'm shooting. A lot of that stuff, you know, you get releases, you get all that stuff, it still sells. I mean, it sells, it sells very, very well. Um, you, need, you need a good channel for it. Um, so there's, there's, you know, big players. One of the things I'm going to talk about is getting Corpus or controlling roughly 80% of the marketplace. Um, there's a bazillion stock agencies out there. Well, all the rest of them are competing for, you know, 20%. Yeah. My images happen to be a Getty, Corbis, Shutterstock, and I license it myself. And, and right there is a huge, that's a huge advantage. I mean, it's, uh, so. Uh, but from a business perspective. Well, that's exactly. How uh, much do you focus on stock versus other? I mean, you, you are a professional photographer. You do this for a living. There's a lot of people watching who would love to do what you do and they need a little practice, but once they get there, how do you, how do you break down like your revenue streams and how do it's, you pay for your hobby? It's very tough to, for me to break it down because um, I, have several, I wear several hats. A lot, I wear a lot of hats. But I have a, a traveling workshop program called D65. We do um, uh, workflow I, workshops. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Okay. No, you had I shoot raw shirts back in the day. Yes, absolutely. Still, I still have my raw shirt. I just didn't wear it today, but yeah, absolutely. Um, and then um, uh, I have another company with John Paul Caponegro called Digital Photo Destinations. So we take photographers to very, very exotic places. We're going to the Atacama Desert um, in December. We just got back from Greenland and Iceland, going back down to Antarctica for a fifth time in February. So when I'm there and I'm teaching, I'm also shooting. Yeah. So. So there's a big crossover. I mean, it, it, I'm not going and buying a plane ticket and going somewhere and shooting. I'm actually, I have a luxury of actually being paid to, in essence, to go there. But while I'm there, I shoot. So breaking down like income from workshops, from this and that, it's it all sort of, it all sort of intermingles. But what you did was you found a way to kind of subsidize your photography through Absolutely. an education and, and adding value to the people who want to come along with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And, and I'd say if I had to give, and, and I don't mean it to put anyone down, but the best thing you can do is to carry a camera. 
I mean, it is amazing. I, you know, I'm, I look around here. This is a show of yeah. photographers. My camera, the only reason it's not here is because I'm sitting here. It's, yeah. it's, it, it's it, is right right, it is right there. And, and what that are better you be right there in that bag. By the way, what are you shooting? Um, what kind uh, of gear do you use? Uh, my, I have a lot of gear, but when I go out, my thing now is I basically go out with one lens. Um, depending on the location, you know, places like Antarctica, I'm going to have two bodies always yeah. with me just because. But generally, I go out with one, one lens and one body. And I'm the kind of guy that if I have a case with 20 lenses, I am always changing lenses. And whatever lens I have on, I'm seeing with a different, um, you know, I don't right. have the right lens. When I go out with one lens, and people go, what's your favorite lens? The one that's on my camera. And whether it's a 14 or a 600, and I have, you know, walked around with a 600, then I see, with, I mean, that's all I see is with a 600, all I see is a 14. Um, it's, it's a very interesting way to go about it. But, I'm, you know, we, we go back to being at a photo show, there's almost no cameras here. Well, you know, it's, it's a simple rule, but you can't make a picture if you don't have a camera. It's true. And, and is, you know, stock isn't something now that I go, oh, you know, wow, there's going to be something awesome that happens over. I mean, it, it's going to happen, but if you don't have a camera, the number one lesson is you're not making the picture without a camera. Yep. So, you know, um, I, I lean to one side when I don't have my camera on because it has to counterbalance uh, yeah. my shoulders. Um, most people look at me and say, you're out of your mind, you're, you're going to destroy your shoulders. Well, you know, I'm getting up there in age, but it's it's okay. <laughs> everything everything still works, and uh, you know. It, but Take that's a couple extra vitamins, right? A couple extra vitamins. <laughs> I, I go kite surfing, so that, that's well, there. It's you all go. Good. Yeah. Now, is there is there a place you haven't been that you haven't shot yet that you definitely There's always have to places. get to? Yeah, I, you know, the world's a big place. There's lots of places. Um, I actually haven't been to India. As as you know, I, I totally want to go to India. Um, I haven't been to New Zealand. That's the only continent I haven't... Uh, Trey Ratcliffe moved out there yes, recently. Give him a call. And, uh, Southwestern New Zealand is, is like going to be going to be awesome. Now, but um, you do... But you... One of the things you're really well known for is ice photography. Um, I've become known for ice photography. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> And so, what you would you like to be known for? In it, but, I, I, but you know, uh, you're like ice the is man okay. when it comes I, you know, to that, right? Um, uh, the technical word for it is that I'm a cryophiliac, um, which actually <laughs> is stuff. a love love of ice. So I thought that was actually kind of cool to you know have a that's sure. what I, that's, that's what awesome. I am. You know, yeah. Um, Do you get cold, by the way? I don't get cold. I'm from I, Texas. I, um, I get cold. You know, easy. I live. It's funny. I live in Florida, and everyone assumes that I'm you know that I, I'm there. But I've gone swimming in all on all trips to Antarctica. I've you know jumped off icebergs it's I, so I mean we're looking at some of the pictures pop up you guys are seeing it that's some amazing stuff the colors are incredible so, yeah and that's um, this that place there is called the uh, La Mer Channel or the Error Channel and it was it was one of the coolest things that I've ever seen because we're we're on this icebreaker and you have these, you know, you have Kodachrome sunsets, as I call them, up here. It's the lights going down. It's like boom, boom, boom. I'm, then it's you're gonna miss it. Yeah. yeah. We have 24 hours of sunlight. Oh, so, that's true. You know, here's the sun going down, and you're, you're. I'm only gonna get another frame. Well, four hours later, you're still shooting. It's same. The most amazing is after that, the the lights started to go down, and then uh, it was actually Jeff Shiwi, myself, and John Paul Caponegro on on that boat. And all of a sudden, we noticed it was getting a little brighter. Wow, we just went from sunset to sunrise. Oh, wow. And then it like starts all over again. So that type of light we had for maybe six hours straight. And, and I truly wow. felt, along with everybody else, like a kid in a candy store. Because from the back of the boat, we had this um, pink water with these blue ripples. On the front of the boat, we had the reverse. And, you know, growing up in a film-based world as a journalist, like, you, you know, you wanted to... But then you realize it was, so we, we were just, we would run back. We shot so much that nobody wanted to take the time to go downstairs and download because we were process. afraid yeah. that it was going to disappear. Yeah. But it, but but it, it didn't. didn't. I mean, six hours is like, you know, insane. That is and, insane. Um, and we wanted to go back there on the next trip. And I mean, one of the best lessons is light's never the same. So we told everybody, we're going down this place that is like insane. We get there, it was cloudy, socked in with fog, and, and it never just, seen it like that again, which is, you know, one of the uh, really amazing parts of going. And by the way, now, I mean, uh, Ken's showing it there. People can go to SethResnick.com to see some of those pictures. SethResnick.com. Um, are you also on like Google Plus and Facebook yeah, and, and Facebook, Twitter? Facebook, Twitter, all the. And are you sharing? You actively. What's your philosophy uh, on yeah. sharing and your watermark. photos socially? I, I am very, very, very protective of my copyright. Um, if someone tries to use my work and removes the copyright symbol, tries to use it commercially, I have a zero tolerance policy, and I will file a lawsuit same day. 
but someone that writes to me and says, I'd love to, you know, my daughter would love to have this picture in her classroom, whatever. Like, it's a whole, and, yeah. and I think it's, it's, it's a balance. You know, we create images to share with the world. So part of it is I want to share, but I also, um, my income yeah. comes from making pictures. If, if I reduce my ability to generate income, I reduce my ability to create. Yeah. So there's a, there's a, big there's a total, there's a total balance there. Um, yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. yeah. So they other, they can see pictures on uh, SethResnick.com, also on D65.com, also on DigitalPhotoDestinations.com. Everything sort of links what together. What if I wanted to buy one of your pictures? You can go right on the website. There's a gallery section, and we do custom prints to order um, in limited editions, um, cool. as well as galleries and private wow. collectors. So stuff looks awesome. great. It's yeah. Awesome. Kids, That's uh, so that one you're looking at there is a very funny story because it's um, it was in Iceland and I was with a class and I said, um, okay, I need to go shoot. You guys can watch. And they said, what are you shooting? I said, I'm shooting the blue steel against the red. And the whole class is there and they said, but there's no red. And, and it's a perfect example of a long lens. The red, the blue steel is very obvious. It's in a shipyard, but the ship is way, way, way in the background. That so little very, very It's seeing? a very, very long lens. Yeah. But to the oh. eye, no one saw no one saw the ship at all. It's sort of like you know the ship's like on the other side of the Javits Center, and you're looking at something here. And and that's part of it. what I'm what I'm going to talk about when I teach is is you know is is how to see those kind of things, how to make those things work. We look at the world in one plane, but the world has has depth, and how to re take that depth and transform it into a you know a working still image. That image also has opposite colors, which is something the brain will always be a was always going to go and be attractive to opposite colors. Even if the image isn't that strong, the brain just react, you know, reacts to certain stuff. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Nice. So, you, the, where can they hear you talk today? If they're um, here? downstairs, um, I think it's at. Um, I'd have to look at the schedule. I think it's one thirty to three thirty. Um, is, is a seminar, and then again at the Low Pro booth um, later on this afternoon. Very I think cool. at three forty-five. Are you going to go uh, check out all the exhibits and stuff? I'm totally going to check out all the exhibits. God, I, it's I dangerous, isn't it? I you know, it, it is it's yeah. scary. <laughs> you you have no idea what you kind know, of money you, you could come walk to out New York I mean, and you can leave your very it's short worse, change. <laughs> it's worse than going to Vegas, you know. It is. It is. But at least maybe you have something to take with you. Yeah. No, but the, the new gear is always fun to see. You know, new technology is, is changing all the time, and. Um, yeah, and it all costs money. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Seth, we so appreciate you well, joining to us here. today. Thanks for having me. Thanks and, uh, very by. much. Great, great shirt, you know. It's, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right we'll, thanks, chat, we'll chat appreciate with you it. later on. Okay, thanks. We'll let you get back to your other stuff. What a treat. Some awesome I, stuff. I know, I know, I knew of Seth, but I had never met him, so I didn't recognize him until I saw, until he said that. And yeah. I said, wow. And then you're like, oh, hey. That's an honor. Yeah. <laughs>